What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys, and today I'm bringing you guys my first video on the Galaxy Z Flip 6. This is probably the most important thing you can do when you get your Galaxy Z Flip 6 out of the box. It allows you to run every app on the cover screen, so when you have it closed, you can run any of the applications you have installed. I'm going to show you guys a couple different methods of how you can get apps around the cover screen and show you the specific way to do it for every single app. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son, Jonathan. We've got uh, the animals, as always. He gives us a couple for the video. we got the giraffe and the camel today. Always highly appreciate him. He loves being a part of the video. Give us something to hang out here over on the side. Also, if you guys did order your Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, Watch Ultra, etc. through our link, make sure you go to our website and fill out the verification form. I'm recording this on Monday the 22nd. The verification form for the mystery boxes does close on July 23rd, so tomorrow. If you still haven't ordered your devices, pre-order ends tomorrow as well. You can go through our link here, submit the verification form, and you'll get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. We do this to give back to the community. We use our affiliate income to pay for the shipping costs, so you pay nothing for supporting us, and we give you something back that you can enjoy with your devices, all those really cool accessories. The link's in the pinned comment description to do the verification, and also to purchase if you haven't done so yet. So one thing that's great about the Z Flip 6, of course, is that it does have this cover screen, right? So you've got the cover screen here, and that means you can use it when it's closed in a very efficient way, right? If you put in your fingerprint, or you put, in this case, your pattern, you can unlock and you can get all these lovely widgets. Um, now, most people want the ability to run every single app on the home screen, and I have that right here. This is using a good lock module called launcher inside multi-star and you can see i've got facebook ebay instagram uh, google keep i have a bunch of different my most used apps here beeper which is my messaging amazon shopping google chrome x youtube studio uh, slack my rivian app for controlling my rivian and pocket cast so all of those are on the cover screen now there's also another way to get apps but they're more, more limited you can run maps messages netflix and youtube by default in the settings. So let me actually show you how to get both of these pages. I do think it's a little clunky that Samsung has these two different methods and you can only get some apps with one of the methods and then the other method allows you to get all the apps. Why don't they just give you the method to run all the apps in the stock settings? I have no idea. But if you go into the stock settings on your Z Flip 6 and scroll down to advanced features right here, go into labs, you'll notice there's these two options for the cover screen. Use main screen navigation on the cover screen. That'll allow you to use whatever your main screen nav is, you know, on the cover screen, whatever you choose in the option for navigation on the larger screen, you can also use in the cover, I use gestures. Uh, and then here, apps allowed in the cover screen. So you can see here, you turn this on, it lets you run certain apps on the cover screen. However, if you tap on this, there's only four options by default, at least of the ones I have installed. I don't know if there's any others. I don't know if WhatsApp is an option. If you guys use WhatsApp, you have to let me know. I don't use WhatsApp. But I've got Google Maps, Google Messages, Netflix, and YouTube. By the way, Google Messages replaces Samsung Messages by default on all the US Unlocked Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6 units. This is a pretty big deal. I'm gonna make a separate video on that and talk a little bit about it, because I think some people are confused about exactly what's going on there, and uh, we'll get into that in another video. But if you wanna run other apps, you can't do it here. So what you have to do instead is you've gotta go and download GoodLock, and a lot of people who watch my channel regularly already know how to find GoodLock, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk through, oops, I'm opening the Nike sneakers out. Go through the full process. Go into the Galaxy Store, which gives you a lot of pop-up ads, which is very annoying half the time. Uh, and then download GoodLock. This is a suite of applications made by Samsung themselves. Just search for it right there. It is not officially available in the Play Store. So if you went to the Google Play Store to try to find it, you likely won't find it and uh, you'll be frustrated. So go here and download GoodLock. Once you download GoodLock, go ahead and open it. There's all these different modules you can install. And on my channel, we cover a bunch of these. So if you wanna see more of the great customization you can do with Samsung's GoodLock suite, definitely subscribe. But for this case, you wanna to go to the Life Up tab at the bottom, and then you wanna find this module called Multistar. Now, if you haven't installed it yet, you see obviously I have, so mine just says find more information. Over here, it'll have an install button, so tap on that, install it, and then it'll look like this. Uh, the little more button just basically gives you the option to uninstall, go to the Galaxy Store. You can add to your home screen, a shortcut, or the about. So once you install it, just tap here on the Multistar text, and there's a great section at the top called I Love Galaxy Foldable. So if you tap on there, what you'll notice is there's two awesome widgets. And in fact, I'm mainly just focusing on the launcher widget, but I recommend the game widget as well. It's very fun, and uh, I'll talk about that actually as we look at this one just for fun to show you guys. If you go to the launcher widget and enable the launcher widget, you see right here how it says enable launcher widget. 
Once you tap Enable Launcher Widget, what it's going to do is take you to your list of widgets. You'll find Multistar here, and then you'll add the Goodlock Launcher Widget right here, and then that will be added to your cover screen. From inside of Goodlock Multistar itself, you can choose how many apps you want. You can have 12 total, so it fits nicely on the little cover screen like file looking design, but you can choose any of your applications that are installed to run on your cover screen, which is fantastic. Now, like I said, you do have to tap on the enable launcher widget so you can add it. This sees all your widgets here on the cover screen at the top. So then you can see also position it where you want it. Um, I automatically, I would kind of recommend turning this one off unless you really want it. You could get an extra four apps. So if you use these apps, I guess you could leave it. But if you just want these 12 and you don't want that extra app screen, because sometimes it's a little cluttering, a little confusing, you can turn that off entirely. So once you have that set up, you can also choose to set up the game widget. I figured I'd just mention it. Game Snacks, which also runs on Android Auto head units. I have it in my, my Audi on Android Auto. You can choose the games you want and run two of them right here. So if you like like Solitaire, uh, Color Burst, Golf, something like that, just to play on the cover screen when you're bored in a meeting, something like that, you can definitely do that. And then up here, it'll kind of show you the list view instead of that. So if we go back to the cover screen really quickly, let me close my flip back up. You'll now see here, I'll show you how it looks. Let me go ahead and just swipe back here, put in my pattern. It's much more uh, simple to do the pattern than the fingerprint behind the camera. If you go to the launcher widget, now what you can do, tap on any of these apps, they're gonna run. So here's X, of course I like to call it Twitter because that's what it was for so many years, but that's what X looks like now. It's really dim though compared to the main screen. I have the brightness turned up on the inner screen for making the video, so I apologize that it's kind of dim there. Cover screen's definitely dimmer. But this is what it looks like running X on your cover screen, and you get the full app experience. And again, you can use your gestures. So if you use swipe gestures, you can do that. Uh, and then over here, I also have the game snacks widget. So if you want to play your games, you can go ahead and tap on which one that you preloaded, and then you can have fun doing that, wasting time in meetings, like I said. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna make a full set of tips and tricks for the Z Flip 6, which I hopefully people enjoy that as well. My first 10 things to do video to get set up out of the box. Uh, but this is one that I feel like everybody wants running on the Flip, and they just added this option last year with the Flip 5, so you may not know about it if you're upgrading from a previous model. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Uh, go ahead and check out the verification form if you ordered through our link to get your mystery box. If you haven't ordered yet, you can still claim a mystery box until July 23rd. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.